What is up YouTube? This is Caleb Davis from 1613 Ministries and today we're going to talk about something called the put on and put off. Now in biblical counseling or when you're being counseled or counseling someone, when you're facing some type of sin or addiction or a temptation that you continue to give into, such as besetting sin, we need to learn how to put that off and put something else on. For example, a lot of psychiatrists, when someone has a problem, they get them off of that problem and onto something different. So if you're addicted to drugs, they're gonna get you addicted to cookies. Because guess what? Cookies aren't as bad, which sugar is a drug, so technically it is just as bad. But when it comes to lust or pride or judgmentalness or self-centeredness, in order to put that off, you got to put something else on. So what do we put on? It could be a number of different things. It could be when you're facing a temptation, write down a list of scriptures so that when you face that temptation, you can go back to that, grab it, and you read it. Maybe it's lust. Maybe when you're trying to put that off, something you could put on is just fleeing. So when you face that temptation, you just literally get up out of the situation and leave. Maybe you need to put on a daily devotion. Maybe you need to put on a reminder on your phone. Maybe you need to put on a, a rubber band on your hand so that whenever you get to a point where you're about to face that temptation or you're facing that temptation, you snap that band and it brings you back to reality. And you're like, whoa, 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 let me, let me think for a second. What am I about to do? So we put, on all, we put off all these things and we put on something. So it's replacing it. We want to replace the bad thing with a good thing, a thing that glorifies God. So in any way that you can, if you're facing a certain temptation, replace that uh, potentiality of that sin with something biblical. So if you have a time of day where you're probably most likely going to give in to a certain sin, Make sure you're in your Bible in that time. Listen, I know it's a struggle. I know it's difficult to set those times aside to do that. But I'm telling you, it's going to help you grow in your sanctification if at those times you place something to replace that potential sin. It's the put off and put on principle. You want to put on righteousness, right? You want to Put off the former person. So put on things that are righteous, things that give glory to God. Think on things above, things that are pure and right and just and lovely and kind and gentle. These things we got to put on. These things we got to think about and, and let our minds soak in and internalize and memorize verses, okay? Verses will also help you. So that's the put off, put on principle. I'm telling you, it's going to help you in your growth as a Christian. So go out there today, implement some of these things. Maybe you might find something that I didn't talk about, but maybe it helps you. So if it does, put it in the comments, share it, make sure the people know about it because we all want to grow. We all want to become more like Christ if we are Christians because we don't want to live in sin and continue in that. We want to become more like Christ, right? If you are a Christian, you better say yes. <laughs> yeah.